Hi there, Jamie Keith here today at Teachers Tech. Today I'm taking a look at the Movavi Video Suite 2020. If you're looking for a program that can be converting your videos, where you can do video editing and even screen recording, this could be something to take a look at. It's full functional, fun to use if you're into video and other multimedia things. I'm going to do a little walkthrough of this today to show you all the different features it has. Okay, so I've opened up my Movavi Video Suite here, and Movavi has a ton of different multimedia products. So if you're interested in video editing, working with music, working with digital photos, they have products for all of that. So, and that's what I like about the Movavi Suite. You can put it all in one place. Now, when you get the Movavi Video Suite here, uh, it comes with the editing, so that this is kind of the standard, uh, what it comes with, where you can edit your videos, you can convert videos, and a lot of other things also and you can record and capture your screen. I really like that feature because you can record it and then you can edit it right away. Now I'll put the link uh, down below so you can test this out for seven days for free and if you're interested there'll be a 20% off uh, discount code that you can uh, put in it to get yourself a deal. But so let's just take a look uh, kind of really quickly at these three here. I'll just give a brief overview. I've made videos on these ones before so I'll put the links down below and in the cards so if you want to kind of div, dig a little bit deeper into what these do but let's start with the video editor here so I'm gonna go ahead and click on new project and it's gonna open up the Movavi video editor and I've done a different video on this one so you can look at that uh, link in the description or in the card above but this is a super easy uh, editor to use I think it's one of the easiest ones to use everything uh, you can see to import files if I was just gonna drag some files uh, right over here I can just drag them and drop them and then I have files in and then I can quickly drag them down to the timeline and I can start using my editing features uh, down here I can be moving my playhead you can see from cropping um, all the different controls down here but I what I really like about the program is how you can be uh, going through from the effects store you have all the ones here where you can get uh, the ones that come with it or you can get to go to the store and add more we have our different transitions that you drag down in between clips that work super easy so if I bring in another clip here and you can see if I just bring this in right between the two and I go through and we have this transition just like that so and again text they have some really nice text ones that you can quickly drag down uh, into here and then you can just click and start editing by typing in and making the adjustments here. But everything's very self-explanatory with all the different things that are just dragging down and dropping. And when you're all done, you can see we even have chroma key, slow motion, many things to look at. We can export it when we're done, uh, make it for many different styles that you want to you know, even connect right uh, straight to your social media, uh, signing into YouTube or going to Vimeo or Google Drive. So definitely a very easy editor to use. So next, I'm back here at the video suite again. I'm gonna open up this where it says convert video, but this can do a lot more than convert video. Uh, you can be converting your audio, you can be converting images, uh, it, and everything works very simple. Just drag and pick what you wanna turn it to and convert. So uh, you can see, actually another cool thing is here, if you plug in your device, if you need a specific format for that device, uh, when you plug it in, it will identify what you need here. But uh, let's give it a little example. So if I go and grab something like a little uh, video like this, I can grab it in and load it and I could even turn it into, so if I go uh, to images, I could turn this into, let's say a small GIF here and when everything's all ready I can hit convert a nice little option to this too if I go into edit I can actually do even more in here uh, adjusting the clip to it and crop you can see watermark effects adjustments and even stabilization but I'm not going to do that uh, in this one I'm just going to go ahead and hit convert remember I do have the video diving deeper into uh, some of the features of this that sound means that something just finished here and I'll just go over here and this 
is it right here. And this was the little GIF now that it just created from the video that I just put in. So if you're looking at something where you want to convert easy, any type of files and devices, take a look at this convert kit. Again, take a look at the video where I dive deeper into this. All right, so if you're looking at making maybe some lessons online, you wanna capture your screen, this has a built-in recorder right here. Um, I'm not gonna bother hitting launch because I already have it open. It's right up top. So when you do hit the launch, this opens right here. Now, what I'm gonna do is this little, uh, I'm gonna hit this little camera up here. This records my screen. If you just wanna do a screen capture, that's this camera. The settings are right here where you can change things where you want your webcam placed and uh, different keys to for hotkeys to stop and start things and a little bit more to dive deeper but I'm just gonna hit the record button here and what I'm gonna get uh, when I hit the record I'm gonna pick an area that I wanted to record so I'll do that and I'm gonna hit this little red button down here at the bottom you can see my webcams on uh, I can turn on my mic and then I'll hit record and what's gonna happen is I'll get this countdown that goes three two one and you can see the stops and everything here so right now it's recording everything on here um, when i think i'm done i'm just going to hit stop i have a little stop that showed up on my little screen my my other screen it jumps open in this one you can see other things that i've edited but what i like is when you can just click up here and edit over here so i'll just move this out of the way and you can see now I'm in the video editor over here and I can go through and do the editing uh, using all the effects that I showed you when I did that quick walkthrough here with the screen uh, captures of here and put things together. So definitely makes it easy to do everything in one in the screen capture. If you're looking at creating those online courses, this is a great option for that. So inside your main menu here are your favorites. You can customize it to whatever you want. I uh, just hit the plus and you can go through and if you wanted to add, you know, if you're working with audio and you wanted to convert audio, you can add things like that to it and it launch so you can make those quick launches to it. Again, you can go through and kind of pick the ones that you want just so it makes things more efficient for you. Uh, down below there is stock content that you can go through and add and purchase different ones there's applications so if you're looking at diving deeper and if you want everything convenient you can see from things like 360 video editors to photo editor take a look at all the different ones a lot of them you can try for free uh, for so many days uh, to see if something you would like there's also some training in here so we have um, our online courses in here that you can just you can see as I hover over you can hit watch now and it will walk you through uh, different parts of things to help you uh, get everything working efficiently to be uh, a better video editor and give you tips uh, at many different things within their multimedia uh, family of products that they have through here. So again, I'll put the link down below. Uh, you can test it out for seven days for free. If you're interested, there is the 20% discount on it. Uh, I do find the Movavi video editor, I have talked about it in uh, different videos here. It's a very easy one to use. So give it a try. Uh, let me know what you think and how it works for you in the comments down below. Thanks for watching this week on Teachers Tech. I'll see you next time, next time with more tech tips and tutorials.